welcome to this class. Today's class is, as we could probably read in the name, today's class is going to be yoga for surfers. And when I say surfers, I don't refer to only surfers surfing on the ocean waves. I refer to all of us. All of us are surfers in a certain way. We all surf on the beautiful wave of life. And sometimes the wave is very strong, very unpredictable. It can crush us on the shore. And sometimes the wave is soft, it is gentle. And it actually has so many different faces. So I would like to dedicate this practice to all of you guys. And I want to bring a special attention to Manipura. Manipura is a chakra that is rotated behind our navel. This chakra symbolizes self-esteem, being aligned with your purpose, and just the balance, the nice balance of energy, uh, of dedication, and of feeling. Honestly, simply just feeling on fire. If I say I'm feeling on fire, this is what I'm referring to. Being aligned with my purpose and knowing my direction. So we will be focusing and working with the chakra, the Manipura, and really try to align with our purpose and set our bodies, set our souls on fire. And hopefully if you are feeling a little bit lost, if you are trying to get a little bit more aligned with yourself or if you are feel like you have maybe slipped from the wave of life or if you are feel like the wave of life is crushing you, really just close your eyes, take a deep breath, think of that manipura, the beautiful chakra located in our navel, then try to really bring all your attention, all your energy into it. So without further ado, let's get started. You can absolutely do this practice anytime during the day. You can do it before your surf session or even after your surf session if it feels good. And I think it will be also a very nice stretch before or after any sort of workout. So without further ado, let's get started. We'll start in a wide-legged child's pose. So set your knees pretty wide. And sit back on your heels. Stretch your arms in front of you. Don't forget to breathe. Deep inhales and exhales. On the next inhale, shift your weight all the way forward to a cobra. Open your chest. Breathe in. Exhale, back to child's pose. Inhale, come forward, cobra, engage your glutes there. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, open your heart. Exhale, child's pose. Even in this easy cobra, let's say, we still engage our core. Our manipura chakra is setting on fire. Exhale, child pose. One more inhale, cobra. Exhale, lower down to the mat on your belly. Okay, you can wiggle from side to side. On the next inhale, place your hands underneath your shoulders and straighten them again for cobra. Maybe walk your hands a little bit more forward. Deep inhale, really engage your glutes, engage your legs. Your core is strong. All your core muscles are pulling towards your center line. Inhale. Exhale, lift your right arm up. Inhale. Exhale, down. Inhale. Exhale. Lift your left arm up. Hold here. Exhale. One more inhale, grow taller and lift your right arm up. 
place it down, one more inhale, go tall in the center. And lift your left arm up, stay strong, great job. Beautiful. And place it down. Okay, walk your hands a little bit wider now and start slowly lowering down to the mat as you bend your elbows on an exhale. Inhale, lift, snake your way through to cobra again. Exhale, lower. Inhale, wave up, cobra. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. One more inhale, up. Exhale, all the way down. Keep your hands where they are. Walk them in front of you. Stretch your shoulders. <sighs> Release. Okay, come to a swing pose. So you are on your forearms now in a swing pose. Your heart is opened. Shoulder blades squeezing together. Beautiful swing pose. Now, <laughs> let's see if you can push. All the way to cobra, extend your arms. Exhale, swing, pose. Tuck your toes under. Very, very engage your core. Engage your glutes. Tilt your, tilt your pelvis, tilt your tailbone a little bit under to create a little bit of a posterior pelvic tilt to protect your spine and lift to a low plank. Hold here, inhale, exhale, slowly down, keep it strong and inhale, extend your arms. Let's repeat this. Inhale, exhale, swings. Inhale, low plank. Exhale, down. Inhale, extend your arms. Let's repeat it two more times. Swings. Inhale, low plank. Lower down. Exhale. Inhale, extend your arms. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Swings pose. Inhale, low plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, extend your arms. Beautiful work. Okay, inhale here. Exhale, lower all the way down. Wiggle your hips from side to side, maybe. Place your, <laughs> place your hands just under your shoulders. Tuck your toes under. And lift yourself all the way up to downward facing dog. Lift your sitting bones high up to the sky. You can still keep your knees bent if you are feeling that it's absolutely fine. And push away from the ground. Engage that manipura chakra, <laughs> engage that core. And bring your belly button towards your thighs. So actively, actively draw it towards your thighs. Inhale. Exhale, maybe walk your dog a little bit. Take it on a little walk. And on the next inhale, snake your way forwards to a high plank. And bring it straight back to a down dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, snake it to down dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, snake it to down facing dog. Beautiful. One more. Inhale, high plank. And this time we will 
we will lower all the way down to our belly. Beautiful. Place your hands just underneath your shoulders. Inhale. Lift your torso up. Lift your up. Lift your hands up off the ground. Keep breathing here. Keep squeezing your glutes together. Keep squeezing your shoulders together. Inhale. And place it down. Exhale. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale down. This time we will do the same. Inhale, lift up, extend your arms in front of you, just alongside of your ears. Exhale, bring it back. Keep your torso and hands lifted off the ground. Inhale, exhale. Keep squeezing everything together. Stay lifted, stay strong. Inhale, extend your arms in front of you. Exhale. Inhale here. Exhale, good job, great job. Beautiful work. Great. Tuck your toes under and lift all the way up to a down dog. We will snake our way through high plank again. So inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog. And one more inhale. Exhale, down the facing dog. Beautiful. On the next inhale, lower your knees down and come to tabletop position or fourth position. Beautiful. We will go for extended puppy here. So keep your keep your hips stuck right over your knees and start walking your hands forward. As you walk your hands forward, lower your torso, lower your chest down to the mat. Our core is strong here again, so our belly doesn't collapse, it's still strong. Belly button is drawn towards um, our spine. So draw your chest down to the ground. Eventually place your forehead down to the ground, or your, chin, or your chin, or your chest if that's accessible for you and if it feels good. Feel the nice stretch in your shoulders. Keep breathing. For the next inhale, keep your chest pushing down to the ground and start rounding your lower back. Start rounding your spine and really push the belly button towards that spine. Your belly button wants to make its way to the ceiling. All of this while still pushing your chest down. Wonderful. Inhale. And exhale. Release everything. Come lying down on your belly again. Beautiful job, everyone. Very well done. Amazing. All right. Inhale. Extend your arms in front of you again. And you'll go through that lower plank to swing oh, transition again. So, inhale, keep your arms extended. 
exhale, swings. Inhale, tuck your toes under, low plank. Exhale, release down, swings. Inhale, extend your arms. One more time. Exhale, swings. Inhale, engage her core, lower plank. Exhale, down, swings. Inhale, extend your arms. One more. And this time, we will transition through dolphin to down dog. So come to swings. Inhale, back your toes on the low plank. Exhale, push your sitting bones up to the sky. Walk your feet a little bit more closer towards your head, <laughs> towards your arms. You can keep your knees bent. Dolphin pose. Beautiful. And now try to push all the way to a downward facing dog. You can do it either one hand at a time or you can use your strength and push with both of your hands at the same time to a beautiful downward facing dog. <sighs> On the next inhale, Come back to your tabletop position. Great job. All right. Lift your right leg by your side on the inhale, keep it bent. And let's just make some circles with our right leg. The movement is coming from the hip. Try to keep your shoulders squared and really focus on that movement solely coming from the hip. We are not rotating our torso, just the hip. Inhale, keep it back, keep the leg by your side, lift it. Exhale, step it to the front of the mat for a lizard. So your right right foot. Hands on the side of your right arm, listen close, really feel the stretch into the hip flexors. Try to keep your spine long. Keep breathing. Inhale, extend your right arm to the sky and let the right leg just drop to the side. Be mindful of your ankle here. Keep it engaged and let it collapse. You can gently push your leg away from yourself. Inhale. Exhale. On the next inhale, we will rotate on the outer edges of our feet and rotate our torso all the way towards our right for revolved skandhasana. You can extend your right, leg, right arm behind you. Inhale, lift gently in your revolved skandhasana. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Now shift your weight towards your left butt cheek. and come to a seated position with your right leg crossed over your left. Lift your arms high up to the ceiling on an inhale and exhale, twist to the right. It doesn't matter if you came off your mat, it absolutely doesn't matter. Keep breathing there, beautiful. You can shift your gaze towards your right arm. One more inhale and exhale. On the next inhale, come to center and make your way back to the tabletop position. And we will repeat the same on the other side. Inhale, lift your left leg to the side. And let's make those circles, those beautiful, 
opening movement coming from the hip. Stop the movement, keep your leg lifted by your side. Inhale, exhale. Step into a wizard. Left foot in front of the mat. Keep your right leg extended behind you. Feel that stretch. Inhale. Exhale. On the next inhale, lift your left arm up to the sky. You can gently push your open leg away. Open your heart space. On the next inhale, come on the outer edges of your feet. Again, be mindful of the ankle. Don't let it collapse. Keep it strong. And rotate to revolve skandasana. Inhale, lift your hips up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more inhale up. Exhale, come all the way down. Shift the weight towards your right, right back cheek. And shift that left leg over your extended right leg. Now, to make yourself comfortable, you might want to maybe position yourself a little bit so you are sitting on the mat. Inhale, lift your arms up to the sky. Exhale, twist. You can either keep your right arm bent or extend. It's up to you, it's your practice. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, twist maybe a little bit deeper. On the next inhale, come out of the pose and come to Tabletop position. Wonderful. <sighs> Inhale, tuck your toes under. And exhale, down or facing dog. Hips high up to the sky. Great work, everyone. On the next inhale, lift your right leg up to the ceiling, up to the sky. Bend your knee, open your hip. Be mindful of your shoulders, keep your nice and square. And hips are open. Inhale. Exhale. On the next inhale, step your right leg behind your hands to the front of the mat and lower your left leg down to the ground. Release your foot, low lunge. Keep your hands on the ground. You can come to your tiptoes or you can place your palms down to the ground, whatever feels better for you. Low lunge. Keep the length in your spine and just keep breathing into that hip space, into that core. But really, this time in this pose, try to focus on our hips, hips and try to send some extra laughter. You'll stay in this pose a little bit longer to really feel the stretch. So make yourself comfortable. You can close your eyes if it feels good. Okay, slower, tuck your toes under. 
and lift your left knee off the ground. Inhale, lift your arms up to the sky, high lunge. Exhale, open all the way to warrior two, open hip position. Hips are open and parallel with the long edge of our mat. Our back foot is grounded at 90 degree angle. Beautiful. Inhale, start reaching forwards and come for a bind here if that feels good. If not, stay in the warrior two or you can super or you can opt for extended side angle here. But I invite you to try go for the bind, wrap your arms around your right thigh and open your chest if you are there. Inhale, exhale, inhale, release your hands, frame your foot, step to high plank, on an inhale, exhale, start lowering all the way down, Chaturanga, on Cobra or upper facing dog, keep your, keep your core strong, don't let your, don't let your back, don't let your core collapse here, okay? And exhale, down the facing dog. On the next inhale, left leg goes up to the sky, open your hips. Again, be mindful of your shoulders, they are staying closed. Open your hip space. And on the next inhale, step to the low lunge. Release your right leg behind you. Inhale, really lengthen your spine here. Keep your hands on the ground, on the mat. Try to come back to the power, to that fire that you've been igniting in your core, in your abdomen area. Try to think about it. Try to send some love there, some nourishment. And make sure there is some love left for your hips as well. On the next inhale, tuck your toes under. High lunge. Lift your arms up to the sky. Exhale, open to warrior two. Okay, you can go for whatever variation you took on the other side and whatever variation you really want to opt for right now. I'm going for the bind. If you are in the bind with me, don't forget to open your chest, open your heart. Inhale. Exhale, frame your foot. Step to high plank, vinyasa, chaturanga, upper facing dog or cobra, and downward facing dog. Wonderful, <laughs> great job everyone. On the next inhale, step your right leg forward and step straight away to warrior two. Don't forget, your back foot is, is, is at 90 degree angle. Inhale, come, <laughs> inhale, start reaching forward. Place your right hand, right arm, on your right thigh and reach your left arm forwards, align it with your ear, keep it lifted, keep it strong, extended side angle. Keep breathing here.
Inhale. Put your arm, put your left arm into a cactus shape. And exhale. Try to open your chest towards the sky. See if you can shift the gaze up to the ceiling. Beautiful job. Exhale, release. Release your hands down. Put them into a prayer in front of you. And from here, shift your weight all the way to the left side for Skandasana on your left. Ah, tricky transition. Open your arms. Open your chest. Beautiful. Inhale. Exhale, plant your hands down to the back of the mat. Frame your foot. So you are now facing the back of the mat. Position your right foot to 90 degree angle. And lift yourself to warrior two on the left. Come to an extended side angle. Whatever variation you took before. And try to stay here with me. Inhale. Lifted arm to the cactus shape. Exhale. Open your chest towards the sky. Gaze up if it's accessible. Don't worry if you wobble, if you lose balance. If that happens, that's absolutely out, but absolutely fine. Just take a deep breath and come back to it. I'm wobbly all the time. Inhale. Exhale, release your hands, blend them together to, to a prayer and shift the weight forwards and to the other side to a skandasana on the right side. Open your chest, open your arms there as well. <sighs> Wonderful. Okay, plant your hands down to the front of the mat, frame your foot, step to high plank and lower all the way down to your belly. Yay, if you have a minute to rest, you can wiggle from side to side. Beautiful. Plant your hands just under your shoulders. Inhale, lift to baby cobra. Shift your weight slightly towards the butt. So roll to the left. Try to extend your arms as much as you can. A little back bend here. Keep your core strong. And as you and as you roll towards your left, you step your right foot to the front as far as you can beautiful stay here inhale exhale twist all the way to the right your left arm is extended is pushing away from the ground inhale exhale Hands forward, come all the way down to the mat. We are in a half frog position, so your right leg is bent by your side, half frog pose. Your thigh and shin are forming 90 degree angle. And just lie here for a moment. Feel that stretch in your right hip.
one more inhale. Plant your hands down underneath your shoulders. And just come back to the center, lying down on your belly. Do the next inhale, lift yourself up to a baby cobra, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Roll towards your right, as you are rolling towards the right, you are trying to extend your arms as much as possible. And step your left foot to the front, as close to your hands as possible. Stay here, keep breathing, inhale, exhale, rotate, keep your right arm extended, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, release your hand down to the ground, come down to your belly and keep your Left leg bent by your side. Thigh and shin 90 degree angle. Half rock pose. Enjoy that stretch in your hip. On the next inhale, plant your hands down underneath your shoulders, lift yourself gently and <coughs> come all the way on, on your belly again. We go from side to side one more time and lift yourself to a tabletop position on your hands and on your knees. Wonderful. Tuck your toes under, find a downward facing dog after this class. On the next inhale, look forward, bend your knees and jump to the front of the mat for Melasa Yogi Squat. Hands to prayer between your, between your legs. Push your knees away. With your, with your elbows. You can shift your weight from side to side, maybe support yourself with your hands. And just wiggle your hips from side to side. Inhale, exhale, ground your hands down to the mat and on the next inhale lift your butt high up to the sky for a little full year. You can heel toe your feet a little bit wider now. So we are in like a half wide stance, not too wide but not too narrow. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. <clears throat> you can shift your weight forward slightly as you release your head and let it hang heavy. On the next inhale, lengthen. And now I will give you an option for a little bit of a fun transition. You can either lower all the way down to your butt, take any journey. You can either lower all the way down to the mat, get there, get there in a way that just feels the most natural to you, that you just feel like taking right now. Or you can walk your hands a little bit behind you, bend your elbows, bend your knees. Gently shift your weight back and sit somewhere on your elbows. And let's see 
if you can shift your weight back and lift your legs up and maybe put them together, put your feet together and then just gently lower yourself down on your butt and and keep your legs in front of you in a butterfly pose for some final stretch so your feet are good together knees to the sides inhale lengthen your spine exhale fold towards your feet towards the ground Beautiful. Inhale slowly, come back up. Keep your knees, keep your feet together and gently just lower yourself all the way down to the mat for final relaxation, for final shavasana. Feel free to put your legs to a normal traditional shavasana or for some extra stretch, for some extra spiciness in your hips keep them in a butterfly in your shavasana, place your hands on your belly start breathing into that Manipura, into that energy. <sighs> Try to acknowledge the sense of self-confidence, of clarity. Feel the fire, feel the power inside of you. We all are surfers in a way. Not being an actual surfer on a surfboard, surfing the waves in the ocean. It doesn't mean that you are a surfer in your own life. We all surf some waves. Some of them might be a little bit more difficult. Some of them might be easy, some waves might be waves of joy, some waves might bring us more damage than happiness. But no matter where we are, no matter the size of the wave, no matter its strength, we feel that energy within us, we feel that power, we feel that fire inside of us. We feel truly ourselves, we feel aligned to our purpose. And if we, if we slip, it's absolutely fine because we can always come back to it just by really breathing into that energy, breathing into that fire and trying to ignite it again. Keep breathing. Gently lower your arms, lower your hands from your belly to your hips. Don't be afraid to get a little bit more intimate here with you. Feel your skin if you are wearing shorts. And really align with yourself and know that you've got this, you've absolutely got this. No matter if you are now 
planning to go on a little surf session. Got it. You absolutely got it. Or if you are just at home trying to figure out the next step in your life or in your day, you've got it as well. You all guys are complete the way you are and you've got everything you need within you. You just need to come back to it sometimes and remember your strength, your power by igniting that fire inside of you again. Let's take one more deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Start noticing your body. If your legs are still in the butterfly, bring them together. And if you are ready, come to a seated position. Bring your hands to your heart center. Keep your eyes closed. Smile. Let's take one more releasing breath together. Inhale. Exhale, let's go. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for practicing with me. I hope you have a great day. If you are about to hit that ocean, have a wonderful session. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.